So inside the network, you would wire it together, but we have two objects. So object merge is basically going and grabbing the geometry and bringing it into a new object. And this is quite common. It's conceptually similar to what we did with colliding the spaceship with the fluids. In, the, in your dynamic simulation, it went to the geometry of the spaceship body, grabbed that, brought it into the dynamics of, into the dot network, and then used it for the collision. Here, what, they're, what side effects have done is they're letting you render, or you, they're giving you two objects to render, basically. So, this is what they're saying is the interior of the fluid, and they've put that into a different object so that they can have a different shader on it, a different material, I should say. So, on the force field fluid, it's using a, a shader called shock basic liquid, so that's the surface to make it look like water. The interior of it, they're using a different shader called shock uniform volume, because the vol they want to render, you know, the um, fluid has a volumetric properties when you render it. Um, so, that's how they're doing that, is they're separating them into two objects, but they're using the same geometry. And that's, it's kind of a, kind of a neat trick, because it basically allows you to have one, one fluid object being rendered two completely different ways, and, and the appearance of that will be water surface, but volumetric properties rendering on the inside of it. 